Speaking of which, you're Nagisa Shiota, right? Mm. Oh! Hello, you filthy savages. It's your ferocious host with the most right to be the savage, and I'm back with another reaction video. Today, we'll be reacting to Assassination Classroom Season 1, Episode 4, Grown Up Time. Let's jump right in. Is this where our pool works? Oh. Hey there, big teach. Long time no see. I know, that right? fake ass costume. Your one stop shop for cheap, delicious junk food. Well worth His moral code is just ridiculous. He'll blow up the world, but he won't steal that Mach 20. Please, I don't have time for this. My students are expecting me. So you ain't no teacher. You're a prostitute. Private tutoring to help get our grades. Allow me to tutor you, gentlemen, on how to flirt with a lady. Lesson one: First impressions. Know what your wheels say about your game. Why did you do thing? There is no lesson two. Are you all right? Who says chivalry is dead? You're a prince among men. Uh oh. Uh oh. Rub the titties on me. I'm trying to find Kunugi Gauka Junior High. Do you know where it is? Okay, look alive, people. Meet our newest addition to the E-Class Factory. My name is Miss Irina Yelovich. Nice to meet you all. Oh, Teach hugged up. Booed up, baby. Too bad we gotta murk him. Figure out how to kill him too. He seems thrown off by the attention she's giving him. Is it because she's human or because she's a woman? His face changes color to reflect his mood. So what's the color? For hot and bothered. Pink. He is all about her. Yeah, no mistaking that face. No. Oh. He said he was human. And of course, I had all the usual close range tricks at the ready. Apparently, the art of seduction works just as well on whatever the hell he is. Hmm, thought so. Irina Yelovich, first rate assassin. Beautiful, intelligent, athletic, fluent in a dozen languages. No target is immune to her charms, whatever their nationality. However, well guarded. She wrote the book on infiltration and approach. Oh, as good as you are, bad bitch. Drop you into this and expect the usual tricks to work. I know deep cover is your specialty, but this time you'll actually have to teach. Uh, as if I'll be here long enough. I'm a professional. The octopus will be pushing up daisies before lunch. So you think. So you think. Pass and kill. Share. It just so happens I know a fabulous cafe in Vietnam. <laughs> fuck the kids. He just said, fuck them kids. When pussy's involved, it all gets. About that time, Miss you Yoko. know. I mean, that's the bell. Shouldn't we head back? Sure, whatever. Knock yourselves out. Teacher needs peace and quiet, though, so make it a study hall. <laughs> and another thing. Let's agree not to call me Miss when the octopus isn't around. And we're definitely not on a first name basis, so drop it. When he is around, call me Miss Yelovich. Yelovich. Yellow bitch. <laughs> Miss Yellow bitch. No, Nick. Oh. Just a word of warning from those who've been playing the odds. You're not going to kill the octopus without help. Please, sweetheart. You're a bunch of saplings. Adults have their own way of doing things. Take note. Speaking of which, you're Nagisa Shiota, right? Mm. Oh! <laughs> Do me a favor. Show me what you've got on here. Grab your special little notebook. Meet me in the faculty lounge in ten minutes. That goes for any of you snobs. <laughs> There's no more blood in my legs at that point. If that ever happened to me. This will be a piece of cake. My strategy is airtight. I am the one and only Irina Yelovich, the closer. The go-to gal, 
I walk between the raindrops. You can stop stroking yourself off. No disrespect, but you are a teacher, aren't you, Miss Yellow Bitch? Ixnay, I'm the bitching! The name is Yellow Bitch, understand? Yellow Bitch is what I'll be if you don't get the difference through your thick, prepubescent skulls. Miss Yellow Bitch. <laughs> giving me trust issues. One more favor, though. Could we speak in private after fifth period? Like maybe out in the shed? Oh dear. Well, how could I possibly say no? I'll be there with certain. You smarter than this, Coral Sensei. Come on now. So, what is it you'd like to speak in private about, Miss Irina, darling? Infiltration is an art, one that requires flexibility, finesse. He's mine. Oh. Oh, Koro Sensei, I just can't stand it. You'll think I'm a harlot, but I simply can't control myself around you. Your body, your strength, everything about you drives me mad with longing. All for you, dirty boy. All for you. Mm. She about to pop this nigga melon. Do this here. Goodbye, stupid. <laughs> it's been fun. Don't be such a prude. Let me get these clothes off. What? Oh, no, darling, I'll be all natural in a gym. All natural. Did you use real bullets? This bitch used real bullets. Oh, this bitch is dumb. You didn't. I noticed a distinct metallic odor in here since yesterday, along with the scent of adult man B.O. The moment it hit me, I knew something wasn't right. For a guy without a nose, he's a bloodhound. So you see, I was simply Get your cocky ass out of here. I'm talking about yellow bitch. But all for nothing. I've exposed you for the uncreative act you are. You could learn a thing or two from my students. Their assassination attempts are much more imaginative. Oh, and just out of curiosity, did the government dossier on me mention that my preferred method of retaliation is grooming? Ah! What was that? I heard gunfire, a scream, and now slithering noise. She finna come out even prettier than before. Ooh. Uh, what? To know what he's doing to her in there. My back and shoulders have never felt looser. He somehow worked in a lymphatic oil massage. A change of clothes just because. And he still had time to do this thing with his tentacles. What? Say, what is she talking about? Uh, adults sometimes need special care. I don't trust. She went there. Professional, damn it! The she climaxed, definitely. Ha, you want to swap me out for that disgusting creature? You're worried about entrance exams when the planet is on notice? Must be paradise not knowing your ass from a hole in the ground. Get ah, the fuck you. Even if the Earth wasn't on the brink of destruction, entrance exams are for students with a future. Newsflash: That's not any of you losers. How about this, kids? Forget this. You a hoe! Help me brainstorm on how to kill the octopus, and I'll give you a nice percentage of the reward money. That's the best deal any of you E-class jerk-offs are gonna get out of life. Otherwise, knock it off with the whining. Damn, this bitch ain't shit. Get out. <laughs> yeah, yeah! As the bastard is, you wouldn't think it'd take him so long. I mean, at Mach 20, I would imagine the test would be written out and ready to go by now. They're tailored to each individual student. <sighs> he takes into account which subjects they're good at, where they need improvement, and hands out a test designed specifically for them. No denying that Chiba has spatial relations down pat. 
Let's give him a problem that'll really kickstart his lateral thinking. Let's take a look at the kids and tell me what you see. Huh? They're just screwing around. They're fine-tuning the necessary hand-eye coordination skills to hit a moving target. I call it assassination badminton court. I understand wanting to take pride in yourself as a professional, but if you can't cut it as both assassin and teacher, you're toast. Exactly. You are incredible in bed, he told me. Incredible, in this case, modifies the word you. That's the example you use with junior high kids? To learn grammar, you've got to see how it works in the real world. Like a full immersion course in a foreign language. Take a lover that speaks it and you can't miss. I know grammar seems boring and technical, but it's what underpins how we communicate. Communication is key in my line of work and in life. Don't expect me to be like the octopus. He can help you with your entrance exams, which isn't without value, I suppose. All I can do is help you learn the art of conversation. Here's the deal. If after a while you think this is stupid, that I'm not a teacher, fine. I'll give up my assignment and leave. So Fair enough. This ought to put us on the level, right? <laughs> well, wow, talk about a 180. First you want to kill us, now you're acting like a wuss. I gotta say, you make a more convincing teacher with this attitude. Guess this means we shouldn't call you Miss Yellow Bitch anymore. You're giving me a chance? You're not upset with me? To be totally fair, we didn't exactly get off on the right foot with that nickname. Maybe not, but we've got to call her something. How about... Every episode, it just ends with me smiling. How about Miss Yellow Bitch? <laughs> Talking about Helovich. We could just agree to move away from the whole bitch motif altogether. I'm not opposed to going by Irina if you guys don't mind calling yeah, a teacher I'm by sorry. your first. I wouldn't plan on the bitch thing going away anytime soon. Uh, mm -hmm. Not that Miss Irina isn't a pretty name. It's just not as fun to say as Helovich. Professor Bitch sounds classy. How about we do that? I vote for that one. Professor yeah. <laughs> than a globe-trotting assassin slash temptress like her. Impossible. There's no way you could have seen this coming. If you'll excuse me, mental gymnastics... Whenever he's pressed to say why he started teaching E-Class, he dodges the question. But whatever his reasons, he's not only turned it into the perfect training ground for assassins, it may just be the perfect training ground for lying. I'm so adorable in your mouth. No, I am not! Bastard's got us all wrapped around his tentacles. Oh. I smile every time at the end of the episode. This show is only getting better and better. And very few shows can say that. Like, so I'm waiting to see, I'm waiting for things to taper off. Not in quality, but I'm waiting just for there to be a status quo. Because it seems like every episode we get a new character introduced. I wonder if that's going to continue or if it's just going to, you know, the status quo is going to set. Like, this is our set amount of characters, and this is the story we're trying to tell with them. I mean, I really don't mind either way, because they got to make things interesting, you know. Eventually, they got to start doing stories with... I guess Nagisa would be the somewhat of the narrator and main character. But, you know, it's nice to see other people's stories, and I want to see home lives and shit. <sighs> Can't wait. Check the description box down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The Ferocious Host with the Most is signing off.